God is love. And he loved us so that he gave his only begotten son to pay the ultimate sacrifice for our sins. While we were yet in sin, he died for us. That's the power of God's love today. And we celebrate it. Love is action, it's giving. And that's what God did for us. And because of that, our brokenness has been restored. We have life and we have it more abundantly because of the love of God. We have overcoming power and we have eternal life when we allow the love of God to save us and to keep us. And today I honor God for his love. And I pray today that we will reflect on his love and what his love has instructed us to do through his word. And then we will apply it today. Tomorrow is gone. Yesterday is not promised, but we have today to demonstrate his love to let his love be manifested in and through us so that others will know the love of God in us. John 50 verse 12 says, My commandment is this, love each other as I have loved you. Luke 6 verse 31 declares, Do to others as you would have them do to you. I love 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 and it says, Do everything in love. In other words, let all that you do be done in love. Proverbs 17 verse 17 says, A friend loves at all times and a brother is born for adversity Romans 12 verse 9 and 10 declares let love be genuine abort what is evil hold fast to what is good love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. First John 4, 7 through 8 says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Everyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. The word of God to the people of God. Let's go forth today and love like God has taught us as believers. That the love of God is greater, it's stronger, it's mightier than everything else and it will stand forever. Father, we thank you that today we can show forth your love one to another. Because you love us and your grace save us and we're seeking to live like you, we can love one to another. Help us to do it. For this will all men know that we are your disciples. If we have loved one to another, that we will do it like you've done it to us. While we were in sin, you died for us. What manner of love the Father had bestowed on us. You gave your only begotten Son to die for us. That we will not be condemned once we receive you 
and your love. And so we give you thanks today that we will allow your love to govern us, to influence us, to lead and to guide us, to be in our conversation, in our hearts, to be demonstrated through us today. The world needs your love. Thank you for sending us in communities today to show forth your love. We give you praise as we do as unto others as we would have them do to us. May we love one another as Christ loved us and gave himself for us. We commend those who lead the nations today, including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and their families, our Governor's General, his family, those who lead. We pray that the love of God govern us, influence us, and indeed be in and through us. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere today. May love be seen, felt, and experienced in families today. May it be experienced in the workplace, in all sporting areas. We pray that the love of God be experienced and we believers will indeed lead this charge and cause others to come to know you whom to know is life everlasting. Thank you that your love forgive us, your love cleanse us, your love make us new creation. And we give you praise in the name of the Father and of the Son and of Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you as we go forth today loving like only God can do because he did it for us. He expects us to do it for others in return. God bless you. Have a great day loving in Jesus' name. Amen.